Question number five. Table two gives standard deduction potentials for some half cells. Uh, so we have table two half cell uh, one. We have iron uh, aqueous in aqueous solution that is in uh, uh, iron salt. It gains one electron and uh, it reduces. It is ionized to two plus. The voltage is zero point positive zero point seven seven. We have potassium in aqueous uh, uh, ions. Uh, it gains one electron and it changes uh, it, is, it changes to potassium solid. Voltage is minus two point nine two. We have uh, sil uh, silver. It gain aqu in aqueous solution that is silver ions. It gains one electron and it becomes silver solid. Voltage positive zero point eight zero. We have lead in aqueous form, our lead ions gains two electrons and becomes lead solid. Uh, voltage is minus 0 0.13. We have iodine uh, in aqueous form, or it gains two electrons and it becomes iodine uh, ions uh, in aqueous form. Voltage is 0 point, positive 0 0.54. Uh, part A of the question state the standard conditions of an electrochemical cell in an the condition of an electrochemical cell is we need to have one uh, more uh, solution uh, to one atmospheric pressure pressure and three, we have temperature of of twenty five degrees centigrade or two ninety eight Kelvin scale. So that is uh, those are the conditions of uh, the standard conditions of an electrochemical cell. And if you put them like that, you should be able to get two marks. Question number five, part B. We are told an electrochemical cell was constructed using half cells 3 and 4. Roman number 1. Complete figure 2 by labeling the parts of the cell indicated as A to A, A1 to A4 and you get 2 marks. So we have our diagram here. We have an ammeter here. We have electrode A1 uh, solution uh, A2 or electrochemical uh, and uh, we have a electrode A3 and elec uh, electrochemical A4. So if we go back to our uh, table, you can see here 3 uh, we have uh, silver and 4 we have lead. This means that we have a uh, lead electrode and uh, a silver electrode. So we come here and say uh, we start with this A1. This is A1. We say this is lead. Uh, or you can say lead electrode. Uh, we have A2. A2 is a solution uh, which is a solution of uh, lead salt. So we can say it is P uh, B2 plus. Or we can say lead 2 nitrate, a salt of nitrate a salt of lead solution uh, we have we come to A3 here and since we are using silver then it means A3 is a silver uh, which we can write like that or you can just say silver as, uh, let's put that silver electrode Finally, we have A4, solution A4, which is a salt of, uh, of uh, silver. So we can say these are silver ions, or we can just simply say silver, uh, silver nitrate. So that those are the, uh, that's how you label the parts labeled A2, A4. And by doing that, you get yourself two marks. Roman number two, write an equation for the cell reaction and calculate the EMF of the cell. 
Uh, so we have. Uh, if we go back to our, to our table, we have uh, we have uh, silver and lead. Uh, so we can write the equation. Uh, it is lead PB solids. Uh, it reacts with the uh, silver. So here we can put two Ag ions. Uh, this is aqueous, and uh, this forms uh, lead ions. Uh, lead ions, which is aqueous, and uh, we have silver is formed. Two Ag which is sorry so silver precipitate is formed uh, as we have seen uh, the emf of uh, silver is positive 0 0.8 so we have positive 0 0.8 minus uh, for lead it is minus 0 0.13 so we put minus 0 0.13 uh, is equals to uh, so you can add 0 0.8 this will be 0 0.8 uh, plus one point uh, not one but zero point uh, zero point one three because minus and minus here will be positive and when you add here you add to zero point one three you should be able to get uh, the zero point nine three zero point nine three and that's how you work out that you should be able to get a total of two marks roman number three the salt bridge help in completing the circuit explain why a saturated solution of uh, potassium chloride is not suitable for use in the salt bridge in this electrochemical cell so the reason why uh, potassium chloride is not suitable for use in this uh, in the salt bridge is that uh, uh, potassium chloride it uh, it took uh, chloride will, will react with lead forming uh, lead chloride that reduces the concentration of ions in the electrolyte so you can say formation of ins formation of insoluble uh, this is insoluble uh, lead chloride uh, that reduces that reduces concentration of ions ions in the electrolyte Electrolyte. Uh, this that the, uh, this means that uh, it makes the uh, the cell to be infective or less effective. Or you can say formation of silver chloride. Formation of silver chloride. Uh, let's put that in formula. That is A G C L. That reduces reduces the effectiveness of the cell of the cell so if you if you put either the first section or the second formation of silver chloride or formation of uh, insoluble uh, lead chloride you will still be able to get that one mark but see we are told state why it is not possible to construct a similar electrochemical cell using half cell two and three so which are these are uh, half cell two and three uh, we look at our table here we have potassium and here we have silver so the reason why it is not possible is because Potassium react uh, uh, explosively or vigorously with water, so that's why it is not possible to do that. So we say uh, potassium that is P react. Uh, that's not correct. Reacts uh, explosively 
with water and therefore it's not possible to construct or it may not be very safe for you to use potassium because it can explode, it, it explodes when it uh, gets into contact with water. And by stating that, you get one mark. Part D, state and explain the observation made when aqueous potassium iodide is added to aqueous iron at uh, three sulfate. Uh, so what happened is that uh, uh, the Aqueous iron, iron two, uh, three surf, uh, sulfate are, is reduced to uh, iron uh, two sulfate. So we have uh, brown uh, or yellow or yellow solution turns green. green as a result of uh, iron 2 3 sulfate being reduced to iron 2 sulfate uh, so we have uh, this is iron 3 ions uh, ions are reduced to uh, reduced to uh, iron 2 ions so we have a gray or black gray or black precipitate uh, is formed that is of iodine so we have uh, formed iodine and uh, uh, iodide ions are ex uh, ions are uh, oxidated oxidized to iodine hence uh, the result of uh, gray or black precipitate in terms of equations you can write uh, iron three ions this is uh, aqueous plus iodine ions uh, this is minus so we have we have a result we have iron iron two ions uh, this is aqueous uh, this is uh, aqueous uh, plus iodine this is iodine uh, to this is uh, the precipitate so it means that is uh, that is a solid so this is brown or yellow this is colorless uh, this turns green and this is gray or black precipitate so that's how you answer that question you should be able to get two marks part e we are told acid acidify potassium dichromate and acid acidify potassium manganate may be used in determining the concentration of iron ions in a sample if as acidified potassium dichromate is used uh, an indicator is used to determine the end point but for acidified potassium manganate uh, no indicator is added Roman number one explain why it is not necessary to use an indicator when acidified potassium manganate is used so you can say hydrogen ions uh, or potassium manganate uh, that is uh, potassium manganate act as its own acts as its own uh, indicator changing from purple to colorless changing from purple 
to colorless changing from purple to colorless in what you call the colorized the colorized the colorized so that's how you answer that question and you'll be able to get one mark Roman number two an alloy containing iron was dissolved in an acid and the total volume made up of 250 centimeter cube 25 centimeter cube of this solution required 18.0 centimeter cube of 0.15 moles acidified potassium dichromate uh, to react completely the equation for this reaction is we have uh, dichromate ions in the potassium dichromate we have iron uh, iron ions that are in the alloy uh, we have uh, hydrogen uh, ions which are in the acid so these ones are the ones that the way the reaction will take place uh, they produce uh, two mo mo two molecules of chromate uh, six molecules of iron ions and we have uh, seven molecules of water so to be able you are told you are required calculate the mass of iron in the alloy uh, the molecular mass is 56 so what you do you take the uh, the, the the volume required uh, to to make a complete re uh, reaction you multiply by the mold so you multiply by 0 0.15 uh, you multiply by 6 uh, that is for iron and you multiply by the volume uh, initial volume that is 250 you divide by 1000 and you multiply by 25 that is the volume of the of the that was required for the that was used to for, for the reaction so th when you compute this you compute this using your calculator you should be able to get 9.072 grams so these are the this is the mass of iron that was required in that reaction and by doing that you should end up uh, earning yourself three marks